Baby? Hey, I've been looking all over for you. What's wrong? Hey, could you please tell me what's going on? You've been like this after the incident. <sighs> Baby, please talk to me. You know that I'm just trying to keep you safe, right? I... What? Baby, I... I'm doing that for your safety. After the event happened, you spread out around. People are now looking for you, trying to get you so they could attack me easily. Baby, you know that you're my only weakness in this business. And I can't afford to lose you again. Not like last time. Sick of it? What? What do you mean you're sick of it? <sighs> I understand your frustration. But baby, I can't fucking risk you getting killed. I can't let you out of the mansion. It's too dangerous. My rivals could have something planned and take you again. Do you even understand how risky it is? <laughs> the reason that I don't show you to my colleagues is because there's a possibility that they would go behind my back. Look, I can't just let you roam around someplace off. Just so you could have fun with what? Your friends? Your old classmates? Your pals? See, you don't even have a reason to go out. I don't know why you're acting like this. I just want you safe. Freedom? I let you do what you want. Just not with the risk of you getting fucking kidnapped again. And come on. There's a lot of people in this fucking mansion. A lot of workers. You have so many people to talk to here. What more do you want? What? Are you even hearing yourself right now? You want to go back to how your life was before? Before what? No, no, don't go fucking silent on me. Before what? Tell me. Is it before you married me? You want to go back to the way you were before you married me? Is that it? No, no, I need to hear it coming from you. Don't move your head. Say it to me. Say it to me on how you really fucking feel. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck! Shit, shit, sorry. I... I didn't mean to startle you. Okay? Just let me think this through. Fuck. Shit, baby. Is that how you really feel? Shit. Alright. Listen to me. If that's how you feel, how you truly feel, then fine. I, I can't just let you wander off, you know, but I'll make an exception. I have a plan. Fuck, this is hard. Stand up. There you go. All the big bags and suitcases are at the end of the right corner in the walk-in closet. You can go grab all the things you want or need to get out of here. While you do that, I'll go ask Marlon to drive you wherever you want to go, or even if you want, I can call my pilot to let you go to a different country to start something fresh. 
Yes. You're leaving now. You said it yourself, baby. You're sick of this lifestyle. Sick of being in this goddamn mansion. Sick of everything. I, I can't let you stay here for long. It would only break my heart more knowing someday you're going to leave me. I'd be much more comfortable to know that you're leaving now and parting our own ways. Of course, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I, um, I have this shitty business to keep me busy anyway. And don't even worry about the divorce papers. I could easily have that done in a week. One last question. You want this? Because with this, you can finally do whatever you want. Be free from the danger of being married to me. Start something new. Who knows? Maybe you'll find another one. Yes, we'll be divorced. Having the legality of us being married is also a big risk. It'll be better off if we actually separate. Are you sure about this? Are you sure you want to do this? <sighs> I was afraid you were going to say that, but it's fine. All I want is you to be happy and safe. Now, go and pack your things. Meet me in my office when you're done. Are you ready to go? Uh, before you go, my lawyer handed me the papers that needed to be signed by you for the divorce. <laughs> Here. Just, um, yeah, sign there. And another one here. Here, as well. And, um, this one. Um, oh, here. The last one. Right down below, yeah. Good. <sighs> You're actually agreeing to leave. I am, I am, just can't believe it. Is... Is there any way I could change your mind? <laughs> You're not a liability. I'm just... <sighs> I just really can't risk you getting hurt again. You know, maybe this is for the best. You can finally live your own life how you wanted it to be. I can finally continue this dangerous business that my dad left me without worrying about you. This is good. It's the right decision for the both of us. Yeah. Come here. I love you. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I'll walk you outside. So, do you already have a place to go? Hmm. That's good. I heard it's a nice country. 
You're going to be fine there. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Probably just allergies acting up. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, Marlon. Did my husband already tell you where he's headed? That's good. Hmm? What was that, baby? Oh. Right, the suitcase. You're probably wondering, why am I bringing a suitcase? Here. It's a token of appreciation for you being with my side for... What? Two years? <laughs> it's just a little gift for having the patience for me and loving me as your wife. That will soon be your ex-wife. <laughs> Come on, open the bag. It's 20 million dollars. Just a little something for you to start your new life. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, baby. It's fine. I have plenty more where dad came from. Okay? So, take it. It's yours. <sighs> I think Marlin has been waiting for too long in that car. You should go. Yeah. Wait. I love you so much. Don't forget that. <laughs> this is hard for me too, okay? So hard. <sighs> I'm going to miss you. Be careful, okay? Have fun. So long, sweetie. 